Are you sick and tired of being a plus size person and not knowing how to dress your body? Then continue watching this video because I have some fits for you and I have some tips to make an outfit come to life. YouTube, it's me. In case you haven't been here before, my name is Kira Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're hungry because this week we are serving some looks. I kind of wanted to dip my little toes into like fashion YouTube because I don't see a lot of like plus size fashion and I felt like I didn't know how to dress myself for the longest time so I would just wear like a banty and like jeans and like I ask me if I wear jeans now. I don't. I mean, I wear shorts. I wear jean shorts, but like, that's about it. I live in Florida, by the way, so I don't ever wear jeans. I feel like they're too restrictive. I hate them. Whatever. Now, I am super excited about this video because A, I love dressing up. I'm really big on aesthetics, so I like things to be a certain way, and I like experimenting with the way something looks. Now, before we get started, I do want to make like a disclaimer here. So most of the clothes that you're gonna see in this video are from Shein. Ooh, I know, but I, I do want to make note that I did not buy them. My mom, she saw that my wardrobe was small and being worn down and it came out of the kindness of her heart. She just wanted to, you know, like get me something nice without breaking the bank. And so she made the decision to buy a bunch of things for me on Shein. And I would like to advise against buying from places like that. You know, I know that it can be really tempting, especially because of the price, but places like Shein, Romwe, Wish, AliExpress, all of that stuff, like, don't buy from them. You don't know what sweat factories they're using. Um, you know that the workers are not getting a fair wage or fair pay because of the amount that the prices are. And also they steal from artists and it's just not good quality. So overall, if you can look elsewhere for like outfits that make you feel good, it's very much worth it rather than just going to these places and contributing to like all of this fast fashion. Make sure to ethically source where you get your fits from, where you get your products from, and don't go out of your way to buy these pieces Odds are they're stolen from artists. So if you are interested in any of these pieces, look for the original artist that dropped the original design. Anyways, I just wanted to preface that. Like, please don't hate me or my mom. Like, I know it came from a good place for her. She has since been educated on like why we shouldn't buy from those places. It was really sweet of her because I'm 24 and she doesn't have to do that. But alas, please make sure to like try and do it a bit more sustainably. Anything that I'm using in this video is either from like Shein or I got it from Goodwill. I thrift a lot of my pieces and as a plus size person, like it's not really easy to find pieces like that. I, I get really discouraged when I go thrifting, but when I find a piece, when I do decide to go, I will cling to it and I will not let it go. I I promise you. I definitely have an outfit formula that you are more than welcome to follow. This video is just for you to know how to dress for your body or for inspiration for my plus size girlies because I feel like there's not a lot of representation for us. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So in my personal opinion, the best way to formulate an outfit is this simple equation. So first, you're gonna take a basic, whether it be like a basic shirt, if it's in neutrals, or like basic pants. Again, neutral color, a pair of jeans, something like that. You're gonna take one basic, and then you are gonna pair that basic with a statement piece. Again, this statement piece can be like a top, it could be pants, it could be jewelry, it could be glasses, sunglasses, it could be anything. It could be a pair of shoes. I'm personally not like a big shoe girly. I know that like a lot of people can be. I don't own like a pair of Nikes or anything like that. Not that I don't want to. It's just not something that I have had the opportunity to spend my money on. But yeah, you're going to use a statement piece. I have a lot of questionable statement pieces. You know what? I'll go ahead and grab one right now for you. Now this is a statement piece. This is a statement piece because it's polarizing. Because people either love it or they hate it. And the way to make this work is to pair it with your basics and then add accessories. If anything, if people are like, that shit is ugly, prove them wrong. That's literally my entire taste in clothing. <laughs> Again, the formula is basics, statement, then we're gonna move on to the last one, which is accessories. Now, I feel like accessories, they explain themselves. You could pair it with a pair of earrings. You can pair it with a necklace. You can pair it with sunglasses. You could pair it with rings, with bracelets, with a bag, with a jacket, anything. If you're planning on using two basics together, then you're gonna wanna amp up your accessories. Accessories could be like hair wraps. It could be down to nails. Like you could use nails, 
anything. Anything can be an accessory for a basic outfit. Or you can go the other route in which your statement piece is the outfit. I'm going to provide visuals for all of these. So firstly, we're going to go with outfit number one. So outfit number one is a white t-shirt, gold jewelry, a bandana, we have some white sandals, and then my butterfly shorts. We're following the formula here. So our white shirt is the basic, our butterfly shorts are the statement piece, and then we have gold accessories and the bandana as well, and the white shoes. It's again, the simple, simple, simple equation that you need to formulate an outfit. This first outfit is kind of basic. I wore a rendition of it to like the farmer's market. I wore a black top instead of a white top, but it's still the same energy. It's still the same formula. The energy is still there. You're just replacing the accessories and using the same statement of pieces. We're just changing out the colors. We want to make sure that all the colors are like inside the same scheme. And then we have look number two. So look number two, we have a green gingham tie-up top, khaki shorts, and then white sandals. And then obviously all of the accessories in between. Usually I'll get my accessories, like my earrings. Earrings I'll usually get from like farmer's markets or small businesses. Or Forever 21, I get a lot of my accessories from there as well. But more than likely, if you see me in a pair of earrings, they're from a small business. Because I like really unique pieces. I like pieces that not a lot of people are going to have but i'm also not a gatekeeper so there's my secret to you but really all it is is that you want to find pieces that resonate with you that express your personality i feel like i'm someone who likes things that are more out there i like more unique things my camera is shaking like crazy i'm gonna watch this back and it's gonna be like Anyways, fun fact about this shirt though, I actually got this shirt from Forever 21. I've held onto it for like literally three years. Every single bottom that I tried with that shirt, I hated. And I was like, I'm, I'm gonna find the pants that go with this shirt. I love this shirt, I'm going to wear it one day. Like, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. And it happened three years later, but here we are and that's the fit and I love it. I'm obsessed with it and I felt so cute in it. But yeah, wrap up tops. If you are a plus size person, do not be afraid of stuff like that. I will be honest though, I'm lacking in the, the Yabo department. So I feel like it's a lot easier for me to get those like wrap up tops on me than it would be for like a big chested girly. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I want to be initiated into the club but i just i'm not her <laughs> but yeah and another really important thing to keep in mind when styling an outfit is how much is too much so for example the next outfit that we have here we have a white romper i've worn this romper before i spilled coffee on it in one of my previous videos obviously we got the stain out because you don't see it right anyways but with this outfit this outfit is the statement piece it has a statement piece up here so if i wore a necklace with that it would clash with the entire outfit so therefore the necklace is omitted so instead i opted for accessories in my hair or i opted for earrings or bracelets shoes even a purse all of those things can make an outfit like that just go the extra level it's really simple if you think about it you know and i'm someone who typically tends to buy in like neutrals so I can match a lot of my outfits together. I'm not someone who has like a ginormous wardrobe, but I do have a lot of like, if you look at my fucking closet, like it looks like an anime character lives here because I just have like the same shirt in a billion different colors. <laughs> and you know what? It works because I find an outfit. I find a different outfit each and every time and I don't get sick of what I wear. So yeah, I see like three lizards in my window right now. So I keep getting distracted, but... <laughs> so the next one we're following the same theme i think the next two are going to be following the same thing of the statement piece and accessorize so the next one that i'm wearing is my sunflower dress i feel like this outfit is very much giving church very much giving bible picnic bible study picnic <laughs> but 
yes. So with that, you know, there's already the flower theme going. So I was like, why don't I take it up a notch and put flowers in my ears? And that's exactly what I did. And I know that that's not for everyone, but it's for me and it's fun and I like it. So that's what I did. And I also paired it with like a little cutesy little round purse. You know, I kept my accessories a bit more dainty. Earrings are the little flowers. They're really simple. They're not too much because the statement piece is the dress. And you know, theoretically you could pair like a belt with it, but I don't have belts. Um, anything that works for you, if you like it, it will work for you, you know, like, and I feel like people tend to overcomplicate fashion. If you think about it, it's just supposed to be something that you like and something that makes you feel good and feel confident in. So this is what makes me feel good and confident. But you'll see that I use a lot of, like I reuse a lot of different pieces. So for example, this next outfit, I got these orange pants from Goodwill and I love them. I live in them. I'm 5'1". These pants are way too damn big for me. They're so long. I, I trip over them every single time I wear these pants. But will I stop wearing these pants? No. I love them. Nobody else likes them, but I fucking love them because I can pair them with anything. I can pair them with a black or white shirt. I could pair them with a crop top. I could pair them with a high neck. I could pair them with a long sleeve. I could, the possibilities are endless. I love these pants. I love big flowy pants. I don't like to feel restricted, which is why I tend to lean more towards shorts rather than like long jeans. But yeah, see if you notice in this outfit, I'm reusing a lot of the same elements. So we have the same bandana going on as when I was wearing the romper. And we have different earrings this time. Again, these earrings are from Forever 21. They just give like a little bit of a funky look and I like them. We're reusing the bandana. We're also reusing the bag because it's also pretty neutral and warm like the rest of the outfit that I'm wearing. So another thing that I like to do is like even if all the colors don't match, if we are using warm earth tones, all of my outfit will be warm earth tones even if there's like a few variated subjects or you know pieces. So for example, my mom is someone who would see the leopard print bandana and be like that doesn't go with that i don't like that why are you wearing that it doesn't match with anything but to me it's warm it's a warm color so to me that matches with the black top and it also fits the warmness of the pants and you know but i just feel like it pairs together well obviously everybody has their own opinion on that i'm sure my style is not everyone's cup of tea but like i hope that at the very least you could leave this video with like something that you like so so the next piece that i'm showing you guys is essentially just like a two Two piece red set. So there are two leg slits. It's giving vacation. It's giving a cruise on the beach. It's, I love, I love this set. This is a set in which I wasn't liking the way that it sat on my body. So I added something to kind of bring these together to give it a bit more of an excitable element there rather than just like putting on a necklace. I feel like it needed a something a little bit more. So I added that little hoop there and I feel like it elevates it so much. As you can see, I put clips in my hair. I didn't do very much, not even wearing a necklace, wearing a bracelet, but I don't have a lot of you know, accessories on. And that is because we were able to element that statement piece into even more of a statement piece. So make sure that when you're doing this, you don't, you know, like accidentally make an outfit too busy. Actually, who the hell am I to tell you to not make an outfit too busy? Like if you like your fucking outfit busy, then like do that. I'm just saying my own personal style. Like this is what I do, but this is the next outfit again the same formula so we have our basics i decided to pair this little vampy top with some black shorts and some black vans and then obviously my sunglasses and my hair and then my jewelry but again this is the same formula of statement piece basics basic accessory so it's very self-explanatory but you know these are just the outfits that i've been really feeling lately i'm really excited to have like dipped my toe into like fashion youtube i hope that you guys will humbly accept me because I personally feel like these outfits were served. And if you don't feel like that, then like you're wrong, but also like it's okay. Everybody's taste is different. I'm sure my taste is not everyone's cup of tea, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you left with some insightful information for you. Again, don't shop on Shein. If you like these pieces, go find the original artist to support. And I don't even know how to end this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a little cheeky comment down below. How the fuck? What do you do an outro?
Last take. How many videos do I have on my channel? I don't so know how to fucking do an outro yet. Not I don't I don't understand. Anyways, Can't like, sleep. subscribe, so comment, this. follow me on Instagram and threads. Um like I hope you have a good day for the rest of your life. Keep slaying. Okay, goodbye. Damn, I don't even know how to feel. Hey, I can even tell what's real. Yeah, I just want you to come chill. Hey, yeah, I thought that was a deal. Hey, why y'all playing these games? Yeah, why you like playing these games? Whoa, why you still playing these games? Yeah, why you keep playing these games? Yeah, I'm just a rolling up dog. Whoa, I'ma get lost in the smoke. Yeah.